M0FXB. Welcome back to my learning videos on the ATS125. And it also says NXP here, I believe. And it's using a special chip called a TEF and it's 6686. So it's actually, although you're seeing the ATS120D here, which is a fantastic ham radio receiver decoder. And I love this device. It does have a 3.5 jack at the bottom. They're actually quite different because this one really isn't for the ham radio bands. It's more of a shortwave, medium wave broadcast and it does advertise that it has airband as well. I'm struggling to get a decent reception on that at the moment, but I will keep trying. So I'm going to show you how to turn it on in a minute, but that's the USB-C charge there. There's your external antenna. You've got the circuit board on the top at the bottom. And I want you to see it with the Bluetooth working. Okay, just to show you that the Bluetooth does work. Um, now I'm also struggling to get the Wi-Fi working, but there is Wi-Fi in there. But the Bluetooth works fine, and it can also act as a Bluetooth speaker, which I think is pretty cool. Now, the buttons here, if you look carefully, you'll see that that's got a Bluetooth with a little Wi-Fi next to it. And then this one's got it as well uh, with a headset. You just basically press and hold, and it goes into pairing mode. Um, and it just pairs and if you buy the sort of standard type Bluetooth speakers, these are about eight pound The ones that just flash blue and red when you turn them on it will just pair automatically You shouldn't have to struggle doing that the screen is beautiful It is a touch screen and there's lots of buttons there. You can type in the frequency You can change the bandwidth and they're all labeled. Let me just quickly show you how to turn the thing on So I'm going to hold down and turn it off that red button there Okay it's off and then press and hold now I noticed that it, even in this mode if I press and hold if, not, if I press twice watch this and hold don't know if it'll do it now it starts to flash did you see the Bluetooth thing but otherwise to turn really it on the colors really like emphasizing and uh, highlighting let's just turn that down a bit up and down volume here the, uh, the but to turn it on you press and hold the red button feeling and you can tune uh, just by turning in, this this knob here, we're in memory mode sure at the moment. See, it like says memory there. Like the to move that, just press the mode moment. here, Where's the and it says manual. I'm going to lower the volume. Adrian Molina's original version, or did you bring that? In? And we'll do the Bluetooth in a minute. So, the if you look, where were we? Manual. It goes manual, auto, and memory. So we'll do the manual first. You can just turn, select frequencies. And of course, you you do get RDS. You get all the emotions. It's a lovely, clear screen. It's a if you just want a a really nice looking receiver, just for let's call it more of a broadcast band type radio, but with unusual frequencies like long wave, short wave, medium wave. This is beautiful. You're going to love using this. Now you can select your bandwidth. So. In manual, you just turn, and if you want the increments to change, just press this button as the tune button. You see, it actually says tune and squelch there. Okay, and it's got a two. I think it's two thousand five hundred hour milliamp hour battery that is going to last for ages. And the speaker is really good quality. If they put this device in um, with the ham radio board that we've got in here, this would be this would be a bestseller. A bestseller. That screen is to die for, but it is a different chip, so I know that things aren't quite as simple as that. And I really recommend the ATS120. I just think it's fantastic um, HF ham radio receiver. But anyway, if you press the tune button, look at the little green line here. Watch it move across. You get larger increments of tuning. Okay, so that's what that. Look at that. And press it again and again and again and again. Go to four. And again and again. So that's a bit of a clumsy way of doing it, let's say. Now, if you press the mode button, there's two ways of doing this. Press the mode and it says auto. Now watch. If I turn, I'm going to do left because I don't want any music. Yeah, it just searches. See that? Lovely. Excellent. And it will stop when it finds something. And then you can come out of auto, just press mode again. Now I've noticed that if you press and hold the DX button, and these are labelled, they're very hard to see, but it says mode band 
band width, DX and enter. And then you can type a frequency, of course, just type in. It is one to zero there. And you've got speaker up and down here, and then it will show you the Bluetooth in a bit. Right, but at the moment we're hearing it from the speaker at the bottom. If you press and hold the DX button, watch this. It goes into scan mode. Okay, you can see that. Press and hold, it should take me back to where I was. It actually starts to say scan. I'm just trying to see how I can get back into normal mode now. Um, and let's, let's try typing a frequency. So we go 94. I don't see a dot. I'm sure there's one there, but I don't see a dot. Zero. Enter. Okay. Beeps. <laughs> Radio 4 is my favorite thing that I listen to. So you saw that, you got all these lovely things here. Bandwidth, if you press bandwidth, it changes little colors here. Now I did see it going three, six and eight kilohertz. Let's press um, the band, let's go to a different band. Here it is at 164. Let's lower that volume a bit. So, and of course, squelch. If you turn the middle one, which is squelch, you turn it up, you'll see when it squelches too high, it will mute. It'll go quiet. You can still go auto and search. Just press the mode, and then, you know, we're searching in. I, do you know what? I should use long wave. I never search long wave. Now, the antenna, I don't know, it's nearly a meter long. It's an extendable antenna. It's nearly a meter long. You can plug one in the bottom. Let me know if you've had better luck than me with airband, because I'm struggling with airband on it. Uh, everything else is very good, yeah. Uh, so let's now let's, let's try something different. If we press and hold down the band, press and hold, you can get this thing, and you can actually type a frequency. And look, you can even change here. It says F. I haven't even tried half of this. Um, there's just sort wave air, medium, long wave. What's that? You know? Oh, Orit. What's this? Save to. It's saving stuff. You get like a sort of extra screen. And to come out of that, you just press mode. Um, right, let's do the next one along. And again, look at this. Now I've tried to get the, now we can see that Bluetooth is on. We've got different logos here. There's no manual yet, but if I find one, I'll put it in the description. Now I've tried to turn on Wi-Fi. And it says, you can see it says trying to connect. So I need to learn how to do that. I'm sure there's a way. Um, and what's this? ATS? I didn't know this did ATS. Um, ATS stands for, I'm not actually sure, but it says my ATS scheme, FM three times 30 mils, um, five, seven, eight, on, off. Do you know, I actually don't know what that is, but it's gone straight into ATS search. Now, someone tell me, what is that? Is that air band? Will it change to air? Will it go to... Let's see what it does when it gets past 100 and... Because I like to listen to 133.850. When it goes... Air band, I think, is 118. Um, no, it didn't. It didn't. So it's 108, I think. Actually. So anyway, fair enough. You know, I'm guessing. So there's music there. I don't want music. So anyway, as you saw, pressing and holding the band gave you that. Pressing and holding band width. Exit, exit, exit with the mode button. Press and hold band width. You get this. And look, you know, air. I did do the air, but it still didn't receive it. But you're, it's, it's almost like another way of selecting everything. What's that do? Oh, no. It's a power off there. Uh, <laughs> Uh, let's press an old. We did the DX. Let's do it one more time. It starts to go into sort of a, another scanning mode. Look at these figures here. Equalizer, IMS, auto bandwidth. Let's back out. And press and hold the enter button. Let's see what. Oh, it locks it. And you can press and hold this button as well. And that locks it as well. Let's press. No, you can't press that. The squelch button isn't pressing old. Now let's go to. Let's see if we can just quickly get this to Bluetooth pair because I got it working earlier. I was quite chuffed when I did. I literally just turned this on. And it started flashing, um, and then all I did was get something on that we can listen to. So 
So we're listening to that, let's turn it up. We've got RDS, it looks very nice. There's like a sleep mode there, isn't there? Squelch, signal, was it CN, 16 dB, Pi. So all I did was press the bottom one, I'm pretty sure it was the bottom one, until it went red. Then it started to go like, it started flashing. And then it just paired. Now I might have to turn this on and off. Let's turn, because when you turn these on, they go into pairing mode, so on and off. It definitely worked and it worked really well. It doesn't really need a Bluetooth speaker. Come on. Last time you could actually hear. That's a shame, isn't it? Is it on? That's off. Now, at the beginning of this video, the audio was coming from that. Let's try. Let's try and press the top one. So it's gone green now. Is that Wi Fi? That's what I'm wondering. If it is Wi Fi, actually, I'm just going to check my phone and see if it's showing up on my phone. No, nothing showed up on my phone. So definitely going to have to have a play with that. We might get lucky, it might just start working. I'll leave it like like running for a while and just see if it pairs. Let's hold down the mode button. I'm not seeing any volumes or any figure showing what the volume is. And hold down the mode, see what that does. And then you look, you get all these settings and there are a lot. Uh, so main settings, FM. Oh, you do get a stylus with this and a USB-C for charging, but there's no reason. The box is like rubbish. Uh, auto search operation settings. That's what that stands for. So let's just navigate through and then I think we have to press enter. Is it? No, let's try and press the button. There you go. Wow. And then you get menus within menus. Okay, I am going to play with this and to go back, press the mode. Let's try audio settings. Enter. No, I didn't do anything. Press down. No, oh, so it's pressing that one there. Set volume, beep edge, high cut, low cut. So it's like an equalizer. We'll go back. Uh, let's do, what's main settings? Model select for portable touch. Set FM, set AM. Mm, that's one I probably need to play with to make see if we can get some air band. Screen time, screen saver, system usage, advanced mode. Ooh, so maybe that could be where the Wi Fi is. Because I think you what you update with the Wi Fi. Let's just go in. System usage mode. Hmm. I don't know what that is. Let's go back. Display settings, language, oh, we can change languages, that's pretty cool. Um, signal meter on, set contrast, signal refresh, signal meter, battery options, battery correction, modulation meter on, everything's on, theme, frequency on, okay. Uh, what else? Other settings. That could be that could be it, couldn't it? Wi-Fi. Time. You can set the time. RDS. Now, it's time sync. Oh, why is that off? I wonder. On now. Delete RDS. I don't know what that means. System information. Okay, that's what we are. It's very techy, isn't it? Restore defaults. I'm not going to do that now. But at least you know how to now. RDS, frequency scanning, connectivity. That could be Wi-Fi. Aha. Bluetooth on. Wi-Fi auto disconnect. So let's do the Wi-Fi. Oh, connect to whatever that is. Okay. So do we also have to connect to um, this ESP device first? 
192 press mode to exit so 192 168.4.1 i'm going to put that in my browser but i'm not expecting to, to find anything right now 192.168.4.1 enter now i'm not expecting to find anything but there's going to be a way of doing this so we'll we'll learn and come back for another video of course we will uh, back Station client, station ID, screen off on, Wi-Fi, auto disconnect, mm, okay. Um, Bluetooth, we know that's on and active already, don't we? Go back, quick look at AM settings, see why that was not great on airband. AM, noise, level, short, short wave, wavelength. AM attenuation, medium wave. Yeah, these adjustments could make a difference. And it says here AM airband conversion. I saw that earlier. Now, why would we need that? You know, why would we need to add 110 megahertz if it's already an airband device? So I'm definitely going to have to find the manual on this device. Anyway, they're about 60, 70 pounds. I'll put the link in the description. You know, my settings ATS scheme you can't as you saw I'll just show you how to save memory channels so all you do is just when you want to save just press DX and straight away it says save to then turn look that one there and then press enter and you've saved a memory channel to go into memory mode which we're already in now look you're going through the memory channels we've done if you want to come out of memory just go back to press the mode button go up to manual and look you can tune all the easy ways to press mode again go to auto and tune and it does sound fantastic so such a shame about the bluetooth i'm going to turn the whole thing off at least we started with it on. I mean, you know what Bluetooth's like. You have to faff a little bit. Okay. It's, just a, it's, it's sort of resting on the shoulder. Not channel. hearing it at the it moment. Sort of Two-headed monster, but one's looking at you in the other way. And, and that story goes all the way through this exhibition. But it's really flashing. Curated. I haven't seen Try again. many of Jenny Savile's works. So you say they disappear quite quickly. And to see them there... Maybe it needs charging. Watch this kind of growth of this character, if you like, which is herself, because they're so sort of self referential You know when it works, yet, it suddenly pauses, the and then it all an comes out of here. If I was doing an album cover now, I would use the the one Rupture straight away. I just looked at it and thought, that's a brilliant album cover. That, that comes so right towards the end. Well, yes, the, 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 the red, that goes into the red period, if you like. <laughs> um, can you give us some sense of the paint surface? <laughs> See now, if you're Chinese, please tell me what that lady is saying. Um... I wonder if that's given out that IP address. Let me just check it. No, just checking on my browser. So we're going to need that ESP32 device. Press and hold again. Truly throwing everything at the... What starts to happen quite early on is that you... you... So the top one does makes it go green. And the bottom one makes it go red. And it was then when I got it to pair when it went when it was flashing red. It does work. You heard it at the beginning. We'll come back, keep playing, but look, nice signal meter. Yeah, I love it. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, it's, you know, it's brushed aluminium. It's a nice device for the price. It's going to be the best looking receiver you ever bought. Bye for now. 7-3. All the best.